What if working harder isn't your path to growth? And how many of you have been struggling with something that you've been working on and you, you've been working on it in your business and it's not working, but for some reason, some human reason, we kind of keep doing it. We, we, we keep like working harder at it, which is kind of doesn't make sense, right? If you don't know me, my name is Laura Chattington. I'm one of the co-founders of Offer Accelerator Live. And we help people go from low ticket to high ticket without any sleazy salesy selling and with simplifying the whole process. Now, another question is like, have you been brought up like me with, you know, being brought up with a really strong work ethic? Yeah. Um, I was brought up with that story too, like, you know, go to work, work. It was kind of like it, it went through every pore of my skin, I think. Go to work, go to school, work hard. Go to work, work hard. Go to uni, work hard. Go to work again, work harder. It's like work, you, and you're working so hard all the time because that's kind of like running through your brain. And you're working harder and harder and harder on your business, right? All the time. It, it's ingrained in us. But when we think about it, how many of you are struggling with things like, that, you know, that maybe you've been working on? So it's like social, getting social to work, getting YouTube to work, getting lives to work getting Facebook working, getting, you know, maybe you're working on trying to be this amazing uh, salesperson so that you can do more business for your, for your company, or you've been trying to work out, like, how do you run ads? How do you run ads? And it's not working. But you continue and do it, right? You continue and do it for some reason, and it's something to do with human nature same the way where our brains are wired and we've got to kind of break free from that wiring otherwise we're just going to be like working 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 and there's a book called you squared and if you haven't got it get it because it's awesome and i'm just going to read a quote from that book the book states stop and think about it here's the way it goes more of the same usually gets more of the same uh, they tell you to try and work a little harder and you'll get a little bigger payoff for your efforts. Try a lot better, try working really hard and you can expect a lot better results. Maybe. But sooner, and going back to the books, but sooner or later you're going to reach the point where you can't try any harder. Physical and mental resources are like stretched to the limit, stretched to the limit. And that's where, you know, coaches and consultants, they're, they're, they're getting, you're getting burnt out in that kind of traditional world of um, like dollars per session. I mean, you've only got so many sessions you can do in a day, in a week, in a month. And you just may not be able to fit, you know, work harder. You may not be able to fit in another coaching session in the day or in that month or you may not be able to fit in another consultation or you know another one of those things you're working really hard at and it's like the story of the fly it's in the book as well the the u squared book as well it's like the story of the fly and this fly is like banging its head you know when you you know when you get a fly in your house and it's like buzz, 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 and it's trying to it's trying to get out the window and it's banging its head against the window and it's like buzz, this sort of busy, 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 busy work. It's trying to work hard to get, get an escape from your from your house so that it can join all the other flies. But working harder isn't working. And the thing is, is that if the fly did a kind of 180 degree switch, it would see like a meter down the window, there's like an open door. And if the fly would move down the window, it would get its freedom. So actually trying to do the usual things, trying to work harder like that fly 
like most coaches are like that just working harder and harder and harder and you only get like small incremental gains so if you want to take your business to the next level if you want to make the the concept of a quantum leap which is what u squared the u squared book is all about the quantum leap you got to quit trying to work harder more effort more energy more long nights more missed dinners with your family more 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 stuff the stuff that you're doing that more energy isn't required you need to be thinking about like what is the next inspired action that is going to move the needle what is the next action that is looking for that open door and there's this universal law and, and these lives lots of them we're going to be talking about universal laws because when you move with a universal law then you start getting seeing results in your life in your business in your world and there's a universal law called the law of inspired action it's one of my favorites and it talks about taking real actionable steps not just working harder and harder until you're like burnt out you can't do anything anymore but taking real actionable steps means that you invite into your life what you want so if you're thinking like what what are the what are the what's the inspired action i can take that's going to invite into my life and that you know and the the things that i want in my life not just trying to get burnt out i don't want to be burnt out tired no time to hang out with my friends and my kids and my family taking real actionable steps means that you're inviting it's like the law there's a law about it a law of inspired action taking real actionable steps means inviting into your life what you want that's so cool right it's so cool and the inspiration for that comes from within so start working harder and harder and harder and just like is this what business was going to be like was this what it was meant to be start working harder and harder and harder and think instead like what's the inspired move what's my next move where's that open window what are what are you going to do next that's going to give you that inspiration and kind of like you know break free i mean ah oh, took me so long to do this breaking free from that work ethic thing you know that society shoves down our throats from that time we go to school work hard work harder like pros are thinking differently the pros are thinking differently pros are focused on stuff that's going to move the needle and they're thinking like outside of the box you know we're sort of confined by what, what the restrictions we put on ourselves but pros are thinking outside of the box taking a step back because you've got to you've got to make moves you've got to make moves in your business to in your life to, to to find changes and find that inspired action you got to you got to make moves that are going to move that needle and and when you do and you kind of look back and think, oh, why did I spend so much time banging my head against that window like that poor fly? Why was I not looking for that open door? So the universal law of inspired action is about taking real actionable steps and not just working harder and harder until you burn out, but taking real actionable steps that means you invite life, the life you want into your life which is awesome and that inspiration is going to come from within so stop hustling and start moving and make the moves the moves that move the needle and i'll see you next time